Good morning, everyone. This is Benjamin Raven with MLive.com. I am filling in for Mark Torgross on the weather today. We're going to let some people join in before we get started. We've obviously got some stuff going on this morning. Morning, everyone. Benjamin Raven with MLive.com here. Filling in for Mark Torgrosa today on the weather. We're just going to let some people get in and we'll get started here in the next uh, 10, 20 seconds, all right? Uh, for those joining early, uh, let's throw some comments into the comment section. You know, let me know what you're seeing in your area because we're all seeing a little, a little something different out there this morning. Hello from Adrian. Let me know how the weather is down there. I want to hear comments in the comment section today. Where you, where you're at? What the weather's looking like out there? You know, and uh, let me know what it's like because it's different everywhere this morning. Good morning, everyone. Ben Raven here for Mark Torgrosa today. Like I'm saying, everybody, it's already been in here. Let's see some comments. We got varying weather wherever you are in Michigan today, so I want to hear all about it. Good morning. We're going to get right into it. I like to see that. I'm going to turn it around so you can say goodbye to this face and this Jerry Seinfeld sweater, and uh, we're going to get right into it here. All right. Right here, we are still under all watches, warnings, and advisories in the state of Michigan here. As of Tuesday morning, these are lasting through Wednesday morning. Apologies for the glare on the screen there. There we go. But yeah, as you can see, we've got a little new addition to the bottom uh, southeast Michigan here going into Toledo, the Indian, northern Indiana, northern Ohio line. That is an ice storm warning down there, so safe travels down there for anybody heading south in Michigan. Uh, the rest of the state, you go a little north of that, winter weather advisory, winter storm warning. Look at that. I... I I like when a forecast and predictions turn out to be true. This was that line of ice and snow that we talked about all day yesterday. Uh, up here we got the winter storm warning, winter weather advisory, ice storm warning. And up here in the UP, obviously, winter storm warning. And, uh, yep, and then a winter weather advisory at the tip of the UP there. Uh, we're going to, uh, I did a post this morning on traffic throughout the state. Uh, check that out, MLive.com. Don't want to spend too much time on that. But uh, those are snow plows, snow plows currently out in the state of Michigan right now. Just wanted to give a quick idea on that. This is the area of the state where the storm tracked through early morning Tuesday. I mean, you can basically see how that storm moved through the state this morning. So heavy, heavy congestion, traffic, snow plows out in southwest, Grand Rapids, Lansing. As you can see, we got some solid uh, traffic incidents over here in Detroit area and stuff like that. The red means bad, the orange means kind of bad, and the green means good, and I guess the yellow, somewhere in between that. But uh, let's get right back into the weather. We have a full post on that on MLive.com. Here's an important graphic I wanted to look at. This is a disappointing <laughs> sentence to hear when you're talking about the weather. Round one and round two for today. This is round one. Round one should be done about in the last 40, 45 minutes as it tracked through the system. 11 a.m. here, 1 p.m. here. This was that defined storm of snow and ice and then this line of wintry mix and a little bit of both. Yeah, round one should end southwest about 8 a.m. Grand Rapids, Muskegon, Jackson, Ann Arbor uh, about 11 a.m. And then that line Detroit, Saginaw, Flint, Bay City, Reed City, and over to Ludington by about 1 p.m. Oh, I'm losing my track here a little bit um yeah travel conditions are hazardous ice mix snow this is our round one round one here <laughs> we'll get into round two here in a second uh there it is right here oh that's not round two here's round two right here <clears throat> a nice little video from the weather service this is how we're gonna see round two track throughout the state pay attention to 9 p.m our entire state, including the UP, fully engulfed with that snowstorm. And that that's this is our round two storm here. S this is going to be mainly snow and strong winds. Round one is that mix of ice and snow. Round two, snow and winds. And we're going to watch, you're going to notice in the next 24 hours, the wind is going to go from coming out of the east to coming out of the west. But the gusts are going to remain in that uh, 20 to 35 mile per hour range. Cities by lakes, any of the Great Lakes, Detroit, Port Huron, looking at wind gusts north of 40 miles per hour, late Tuesday, early Wednesday morning. But yes, yeah, so this is round two of the storm, our extended radar here, 9 p.m., entire state fully engulfed right there with snow. We're gonna get some decent snow tonight, some decent, decent snow tonight. Let's go through some other stuff here. Uh, this is part of round one here. This is part of the now. 
That's a like right here, the snow. Harrison Saginaw Bad Axe, the Northern Thumb. One to three inches of snow and sleet accumulation just between 7 and 11 a.m. today. In that wintry mix zone, we're looking at about an inch of snow from Lansing Flint over to Port Huron. Heavy, uh, th in these areas, you might see some heavier ice fall or sleet fall. And then in the, the Detroit Southeast, even stretching from Battle Creek to Detroit. So I don't want to label that a Southeast. Stretching from Battle Creek to Detroit, this is where most of the ice is going to be in around one of those storms. Through about noon to 1 p.m., I'd say it's still going to be icy, still going to be sleet. We will see a brief lull like between round one and round two, but you're going to notice a change because um, sitting in on a National Weather Service uh, webinar yesterday, um, the snow fall where snow is falling right now during round one, it's going to be wet and heavy. Great snowmobiling stuff. Round two is going to bring a little more of that light powdery stuff. Lake effect snow. So, <laughs> uh, And here's our current radar right now. This is looping through the end of the day. Tuesday, a whole uh, Midwest picture here. Yeah, we'll let that. That's about 9 p.m. when our state gets buried. Yeah. And then uh, here's a, just a zoom in on Michigan. Let's see the times here. This track starting now, 7 a.m. And this is through the rest of the day today, carrying us to midnight uh, Wednesday. Yeah, uh, Detroit's looking at a lot of ice today. Yeah, we do have rounds. <laughs> rounds of storms today. Round one, ice, the further south you go. Snow, the further north you go. If you fall in that middle zone, you're going to get a little bit of a mix. So just safe travels out there. Safe travels. We've looked at that. Here we go. Here is another nice little one from the weather service. Radar forecast for today. Yeah, we've already done this. We've already done this. We're on to this. Looking at 1 p.m. here. This is that lull I'm talking about. It's going to be a lull for a main portion of the lower peninsula today as the snow tracks north. Uh, that's so pleased. Let's see how good I am with the tabs today. There we go. Yeah, here's uh, 7 p.m. tonight. 9 p.m. snow through midnight. Oh, here you go. 1 a.m. Wednesday. We're still getting it. And then Wednesday, 7 a.m. Snow is still lingering. This is when winds are going to be picking up. In this range right here, winds are going to be picking up. 20 to 35 normal uh, like anywhere along the Great Lakes in Detroit, they specifically mentioned we so could see some consistent gusts of about 40 miles an hour. So just that powdery stuff that's going to fall in round two is going to be easier to blow around. Whiteout conditions, all that kind of fun stuff. So safe travels if you are out on the roads today. Um, keep an eye out as the ice storm, the ice and the wind, that's the combination for power outages. I know thousands of you have already dealt with power outages in the past week but they are a potential they they are a potential with that dangerous mix of wind snow ice wintry mix and two rounds of storms so just uh keep an eye on all of that we've gone through these i just want to give you guys the full picture here we looked at this one but this is still a good picture this is what we're dealing with in round one here they called it wave one yesterday wave sounds so much nicer than round i feel like uh, whiteout conditions are going to happen tonight and tomorrow morning. The more that powdery stuff falls and the more the wind picks up and changes directions, it's going to be blowing around. Very possible. Uh, we're getting there. We are getting there. There's my, well, I'll get you on accumulation. Uh, this is what we're looking at from winds here. This is this morning, 2035 from the east, about 4 a.m. Wednesday. 2035 still, Gus, but coming from the west, it's going to pick up tomorrow morning, going to kind of keep up. And uh, as I said, stronger along the lake shores. Detroit area specifically warned for 40 miles an hour. Uh, here's some ice warnings. This is for this first round of storm through Tuesday evening. These are the great. This is the greatest risk for at least a tenth of an inch of ice. Jackson, my old hometown of Jackson, not looking too pretty right there. But this line, Kalamazoo to Detroit, the most likely to get at least a tenth of an inch of ice. But as you can see. That defined line of snow and ice stretched through here. There's still potential for ice up here along the lakeshore and stuff like that. Yeah, safe travels to that Michigan Best team, Gonzo. Thanks for joining us here. Yeah, be, caref be careful out there, everybody. Ah, here's that snow accumulation map you wanted. 
Let's, let's shed a little light on our friends in the UP because they're not seeing much snow. They're getting the ice. Look at that. 9 to 13 inches in there. 6 to 9 inches throughout the rest here. And 4 to 8 in this tip here. We'll go th down through the state right here. 6 to 10, basically north of Cadillac up to Alpena. Alpena's even getting the 9 to 13 range there. Uh, Grand Rapids anywhere between 5 to 8 inches. Big Rapids about 5 to 8 inches. Middle of the state, three to five. And as I said, this is that ice range right here in round one. One to three inches of snow. That's serious with that ice already on the ground. So keep an eye out for that. This is our snow forecast through, let's see here, 1 p.m. Wednesday. So from midnight, this past midnight through, <laughs> yeah, this is for round one. But this also, actually, excuse me, this includes both rounds. So this is through 1 p.m. Wednesday. Sorry, I'm keeping up. I got a million tabs open. We have so much going on in Michigan right now. It's absolutely wild. Uh, a little closer look at our friends in northern Michigan as we've been talking about ice for the most part. Even here, you could be looking at some ice with four to six inches. Yeah, we are all a mess. Everywhere around the state is a mess today. Let's look at that Michigan radar right now. One more time. Isn't I mean, look at these colors popping up here. <laughs> Just We're getting every color possible on our radar right now. Oh, um, I'm going to run through these graphics one more time for everybody joining us and just, you know, we are looking at legit hazardous, hazardous travel through Wednesday evening, through Wednesday night. I mean, Upper Peninsula, Northern Lower Peninsula, the greatest risks are heavy snowfall in both rounds. Central, Southern, Lower Peninsula from here down, snow, wintry mix, greatest power outage potential is the line from here and south. So I'm very sorry for the thousands already dealing with that in the past. Um, as I said, uh, this uh, this morning alone, Bay City, Saginaw area, and the Thumb could see 1 to 3 inches of snowfall and sleet up until 11 a.m. Lansing, Flint, Port Huron looking at an inch of snow, but heavier outputs of sleet and ice. The map we're looking at right now is every single county in the state under a watch or advisory or a warning of some kind. Uh, here's our map on round one. This is when we're expecting things to round and round one here And uh, Bay City Detroit and south the ice is gonna be the worst the further you go I mean, I wrote kind of down a summary after reading two hours of weather Round one out of southwest as we're speaking right now It's mostly out of southwest Michigan moving across the state wet heavy snow where it's snow and not ice sleet and ice is still falling Jackson is in that ice vortex right now. Jackson, Jackson, Homer, looking, you guys are at the highest risk of getting at least a tenth inch of ice, and then we're looking at snow coming down on top of it with stronger winds tonight. So, southern, lower Michigan at the greatest risk. So, and then round two, the wind is going to shift. It's going to be mostly snow. It's going to be that light powdery stuff, lake effect stuff. There are going to be whiteout conditions. Driving is going to be hazardous and dangerous through Wednesday night. I know we're from Michigan. I know it's to be tough with this stuff, but it's real. It's dangerous out there and it's going to keep getting worse over the next 30 hours. So drive carefully if you got to get there. We're going to go through all the stuff right here. This is through uh these are our forecasts right here for the as the as the storm moves throughout the state, as you can see the motion it's moving right here. This is what we're looking at for up until 11 a.m. 1 to 3 inches of snow and ice accumulation. Uh, north of that Saginaw line between up until 11 a.m. An inch of snow with heavier sleet and ice right here. Once again, this is up until 11 a.m. And then down here, this is where most of our ice is coming. Through the morning, through Tuesday early morning, this is where our ice is coming. Very nasty, very nasty. Just a mix. This is just a mix of everything, every winter term on the face of the earth right here. This is mostly snow. But yeah, the closer you get to Indiana and Ohio, the more icy it's going to be. We're going through. Here's our Great Lakes radar. We're just going through everything one more time as I see there's been people coming and going. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be nasty through Wednesday. Well, I'd say it's going on. Uh, let's look at the map for round two right now. 9 p.m. Once again, 9 p.m. Fully, fully covered. Entire state. Berrien County to the <laughs> tip of the UP. Wild. And then, yeah, there's your 7 a.m. Wednesday forecast. That's what we should be looking at about 23 hours from now. So hang on. <laughs> We're still going to be getting some stuff. Oh, excuse me here. <laughs>
I think I lost my phone there for a second. Excuse me one second here. Lost you for a second there. We're all good. <laughs> oh, we're going to go through the radars just one more time here. Yep. We've seen that. That's what's coming. Here's our line of ice and snow. Um, more snow the further you go, more ice. Phone call there. Uh, here's some winds changing. If you just lost me for a second, just had to decline a call real quick. Like I said, just running through these graphics one more time. This is our greatest risk for at least a tenth of an inch of ice. Temperatures have, have been hard to keep up with all of this, you know? Temperatures have been like the least <laughs> concerning thing. Uh, no, we can't catch a break. But these are ice risks through um, late tonight into Tuesday afternoon. This is our greatest at risk ice zone. Jackson's right in the middle of it. This area is greatest risk of ice. I mean, this is 70% chance you're going to see at least a tenth of an inch of ice 80 percent chance kind of keeps on going like that here's our snow accumulations i know we had a couple questions on that i do want to go through that this is through 1 p.m wednesday up a little, little scan down the alpina rogers city still looking at 9 to 13 inches and here you go i mean we're looking look at that look at these colors we're seeing this morning friday <laughs> We got another couple storms coming. We touched on that yesterday, and we'll touch on that more. I wanted to focus on this storm here, but, um, yeah, we've got a couple more storm systems potentially coming through Michigan here. So, Jackson to Ann Arbor, you're in the ice zone. If you are driving out in Jackson to Ann Arbor today, please be very careful. It's going to be icy through the afternoon. Uh, we're we're going to wrap things up here. Let's close it out with a good look at the... Michigan radar right here. We are gonna, uh, I'll have a weather post published mlive.com on the website. You can find the recap to this video on our YouTube page. Um, look up our Michigan weather Facebook page to stay up to date with everything the weather crew here at mlive post. But, uh, thanks for joining me this morning. This video is here, Grand Rapids area. Uh, storm should be out of that area by about 11 a.m. Um, it's icy. It's snowy. It's a mess. It's been a mess. All right, guys. You stay safe out there. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Stay up with them. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna keep you guys updated as best as I can. Like I said, I got a traffic map already on the website. Weather post coming soon, and uh, just be safe out there. It's nasty.